as always, push up, try and control a side lane forever. But maybe he's going to have a Talia coming up to that top lane, along with the Rumble, along with the Ivan for Nuke Duck. And of course, Talia. Into people will just throw it into the lane to kill the minions, but they go on Nuke Duck. Now, Nuke Duck gets caught, gets rooted, gets knocked back, gets charmed. Nuke Duck's down for first blood. Uh, all the good work from Vitality around this middle. -age. Vitality did not back away. It's a three on four. Alfari puts down the Dominus, and Max Lord's got a let's bounce. Ready to scoop up any victims. Here comes Power of Evil from the mid lane. Vitality, that was shocking. Greedy, greedy TP. Well, you didn't need to go so quick. And not back away. Yeah. You know, kudos now to Misfits. Let's take nothing away from them. They reacted very well. Power of Evil dodges a lot of the volley from Nuke Duck, puts down the package and knocks Nuke Duck backwards. His spell shield gets popped. The exhaust is down on Cabo. POE was running that one. Power of Evil has his fourth kill already. And another now put a significant amount of damage, but now mid lane. All right, Steelback takes a lot of damage. Good root down onto Max Law. Cell Division passive is available. Let's Bounce comes down. The Cell Division is pop. Han Sama is simply too yeah. far away, and Misfits get caught out. Han Sanity was available. Misfits didn't have the same vision control on the top side Death jungle. Death onto oh. Hansama, but Vanda doesn't follow it through. The quickness into the entrance and Power of Evil's unstoppable. Instant reply as Vitality were not... It can be done quickly to the Baron, but see if Joko can get in there. So important. Equalizer and Threaded Volley are available. Max Law helps out Power of Evil to get his sixth kill. Well, look, the damage backed away. Yeah, no oh. Rumble, no Caitlyn. Joko as dead. we jump out of the replay, we can only assume Legion. And Aegis has got a number of different build parts. Look at the damage on the attack. Power of Evil and Hans Sama get the double team. Vitality are stuck inside Vander's box. Power of Evil gets his seventh, looking for his eighth, but won't be able to secure it. Hans Sama denies it with a double kill. And this, now this should be a safe and easy battle. Yeah, once again, a single pick against Vitality leads into a small skirmish going in Misfits' favor. And Steelback is left running away at the end of the fight, not even autoing for the majority of that skirmish. But that, that okay. size of, no, Medic, Medic holding Pyra. <laughs> While the base is being torn apart, tower in the top is down. Vitality not able to put up any sort of defense <laughs> as the inhibitors oh, that's, will that's be the funny. next target. It's a great visualization, actually. Um, well, let's see how, how and where Vitality decide to fight. Baron, three minutes of it has been used. Vitality hasn't been able to stop any sort of bleeding. Tower bottom inhibitor top, like yeah. there's just nothing you, Vitality can do. You can't get these waves away with a Talia and a Rumble against the Baron Buff. Now look, they've tried to catch the Corky. Yeah, but look, here comes Ignor. Come in, get down, rushing with the quickness and Vitality are charmed up. But there's not enough damage for Misfits to get their 12th kill of the game. Instead, they Probably are going to be enough to deal in the damage to kill it on its own. Like, look, there you go, two autos from power, and in Misfits go. All right, where's Let's Bounce? Still on cooldown. Alfari is flashed forward. The, uh, equalizer gets dropped down. Power of Evil gets his eighth. Power of Evil gets oh. his ninth. That's a triple. Looking for the quadra. Oh, can he That's get a it? Quadra. There's a penta kill on the horizon. They left it. Nobody from Misfits. Oh, he's trying dead. to take it because he's down. <laughs> the quadra from Power of Evil will not result in another penta kill. Nuke Duck is running for his life, gets caught by everything from Misfits. The ace secures the base, and Misfits obliterate Vitality. It is a crushing, crushing defeat. And the Nexus falls, Misfits 1-0. And Pocky logged in here, gives them a lot of strength as we saw in the fights, that uh, you can just move around, make sure you can poke from a distance, and then land a couple of autos. Misfits formation gained by Vitality, and Misfits are going back to the mid lane. Nuke just wanted to ward Sonic Wave into Resonating Strike. Max Thor finds first blood! Easy first blood just from the extra We're struggling. Sure. We'll continue the story in a moment. Max Law's going to ward hop to safety. No flash available. The equalizer, Ooh. not the direction you wanted. But Max Law gets taken down. As Nuke Duck secures it, and he gets the red buff. Farming up heavily now, looking in for the mid lane here. Power of Evil, no flash either. Uh, Power of Evil's going to go down. Shockwave into dissonance. Easily picked up. Joko has no tower aggro yet. Ignores that fast enough. There's a package. There's, There's a, a package. package. Hang on. There's a package. Here oh, comes Joker. Power of Evil. <laughs> oh, 
kill. Oh, he's done it again. Another kill, this time combo to Max Lord. Come on, Shockwave, not available for Nuketuck. The Equalizer burns Max Law. Power of Evil forced to flash away. Rift Herald was helping out Vitality. That's two kills for Vitality. Ignor delivers a gigantic crocodile to Vitality's back in. And the fate call knocks Cabo in the air. Steelback is the man that suffers the exhaust. Shockwave onto Alfari. Alfari dips and dives and ducks and dodges and survives. The pierce onto Nuketuck. He's running for his life. A liquid dash, a stick, and hugs. And Summer gets a triple. Oh, Nuke Dug desperately trying to turn around. Here she that comes in. with a gigantic headbutt. Death sentence onto POE, the play as well. Valkyrie into the Devourer. Joker was caught and devoured and spat out. That's a great ward hop for Max Law. Sets up another kill for Power of Evil. Cabo Shard's been able to arrive and Ooh, he is died. able to burn down Misfits. Ignores the target. He flashes defensively. Alfari's now on the front line. He's looking for Steelback. The AoE damage is immense. And the Shockwave catches onto Hans Summer. Devour saves his life. His fights are messy. POE Ooh. looks for the big one. Cabo Shard flashes away. And the tower. Hey, there was a lot of okay. chatter going on in the studio here. Oh, Nuke Duck's caught. Uh, Nuke Duck's dead. Ooh, that was <laughs> That just looked that was really swift. good. Well, really. Oh man, the simplest shots are sometimes the hardest to connect. Whoop. Power of Evil was the man that was delivered by the Abyssal Voyage, and he's going to use the package. Teleport completes from Alfari. Vitality are split up, and this fight is a little messy. Cabo shot running from the river. He cancelled his teleport. It's on cooldown. Shockwave is available to nuke track, and the re-engage is on the cards as Vitality look to sting. Yeah, Misfits with a bit of a reach there, trying to get on to nuke Dug. However, here we go. Face call is going to connect. Shockwave oh. only catches Ignar. It's a support for support. Four on four, and Hans Summer needs to be careful. Power of Evil slowing down. That's the kick. Max finds new duck. Hans Summer takes him out. So far, it's mid laner for mid laner. Let's see if Evil has guaranteed a death. Baron will be secured really easily here by Misfits. And the shockwave not pulled yet. Hans Summer gets caught and is shut down. A solo kill. This Misfits unable to get away. Han Summer had flat. What I can prove is Igna knows how to play Tom Kench. All right, steel back is currently invisible. We'll get spotted out, sidestep everything. That and that spray and pray means steel back turns it around. Four, one, and two. And after all the criticism of game one, steel back laughs in your face. Off screen oh, by the evil. Misfit support staff. And Ignar takes a lot of damage. Joker and POE go toe to toe. The uh, package is used. Oh. Look at the crit! The long range spatula! Serves Joko up on a platter. Shockwave is available for Nuketuck if he Ooh. needs it. Another crit. Look at the Eye Edge Rapid Fire Cannon Triforce. Power of Evil goes down and the Shockwave was not used, nor was going to keep uh, Power of Evil alive. Through. Okay, another proactive play. Misfits have been bitten in the butt before. Death sentence between the uprights. Not going to be Ooh. well. Max will find it. Should be it's on to Bandit. That's not one of the carries. Fates call will buy some time. Afari is being burned alive. Afari is roasted alive. It's still back that poisons him now new the target oh. the shockwave's available spatulas to the face take him down Hans summer is leaping hopping using that martial cadence the ring oh, he and got it. take down steel back Hans summer is in a one on two and he's got to be very very careful when we've seen those tom kench and mm -hmm. kicks and then we've oh, also Nuka. seen how bad they can be Flash Ooh. away from the shockwave, but Steelback almost two shots. The Misfits back line. Hans Summer takes down Steelback at the cost of Maxor and maybe Alfari. Joko tastes his fear and sends him to the fountain. It's a one for two, and that's what we do. Because talk. Misfits have been counter engaged Ooh. multiple times. Alfari's actually flashed in for the stun. Fate's call as well. Steelback is exhausted. He's the target. The death sentence catches onto Ignor. The devourer allows them to kill Steelback. But Power of Evil goes down. Nuketuck gets another onto Ignor. Where is Hans Summer? He has to be the carry. He has to be the damage. This game back into their favor. Oh, this is going to be a gigantic advantage for Vitality. Max Law kicks up. Dragons rages up. But it's a, a two on four in the best case scenario. He's not gonna go. Likely not gonna happen. No, it's not. Joker, not gonna be enough. Oh no, he's taken down. Misfits. 
Oh, they punished. Go for the aggressive play here. Tom Kenshin from behind. All right, Ignos coming from behind with Power of Evil. Joko's on the front line. All five members of Vitality oh, on the Power of Evil's Power of Evil's down. It's a five on four. Joko's the target. His Max Law has found Steel back. Look at the damage to Shockwave. The Shockwave connects, but Han Solo does not care. Misfits have got three. Time. And you saw how good that Shockwave should have been. Ooh. It looks like Misfits just weathered through all of them, basically, at this point. So, Ren stacks, stacking up for Hans Sammer. Oh, Elder Drake actually resets Vitality. Yeah, by some time, this damage onto Ignore. The death sentence pulled him forward. Max was looking for a target. His Joker's on the front line. There, there are so, UK. so many Ren stacks on that Elder Dragon. The smile oh, is going to have to be godlike. Oh, it's picked up by Misfits. Elder Dragon secured, no shockwave damage means Misfits maintain control. Hans Sammer over 2,000 damage with that. Whoa! Steelback destroys the GA of Hans Sama. Vitality, bait, and outsmart Misfits. Alfari throws down the Gargoyle Stone Plate and buys Ooh. a few seconds of time. But all Vitality get is one. Oh, may not always be Look used. Back. Look, at back. Look at Steelback. He's stunned and caught up. He's got no GA, but Max slows down. Misfits may have lost the fight. Alfari's trying to do what he can. Hans Sama's on the front line. That's a double kill for Steelback. He's looking for the triple. Igno is the target, and Cabochon takes him down. Misfits may have lost Ooh. the game. Power of Evil not going to find New Deck, and Hans Sama will get just the GA from Joko. Look at the lantern coming up for visibility. As Power of Evil and Hans Sama start to recall, Shockwave Ooh. misses, and Vitality look for the inhib. Hans Sama, of course, doesn't have a Guardian Angel. Power of Evil does, but he needs this recall to complete. Nobody has vision on him. TP coming through. If Vitality try and over push this, there is a significant amount of damage left on the Misfits lineup. They have to be very, very careful not to eat the poke. Look at the mini map. There is a minion wave of Misfits down in the bottom lane. Hans Sama's down. Him. There's no one left to defend, but Power Power of Evil, he's got a Guardian Angel, he's gonna find Vanda, the Nexus turret starts to fall, Power of Evil looks for Joko, he's using the exhaust, the Nexus is the target, and Vitality force a game three! Vitality was banned in both previous yeah. games, Nuketuck is feeling it, he's locked in Lucian in the mid lane, and it is a snowball champion, the analyst test talked specifically late because at least he's already making his way up into that lane. All right, this is going to be a 2v2. The flag and drag's already caught out. Cabo oh, Shardy's oh, holding oh, on to the flash. Oh, flashes away from the cocoon. Here comes Joko. Oh, Alfari gets first blood. Joko responds. And Maxwell's forced to run away. Uh, I don't think Vitality know. Maxwell is inside the top lane. Oh. Cataclysm blocks his entry. Cocoon, cocoon catches onto Cabo Shard. Then his bite comes down as well. And Maxwell and Alfari. Just double team Cabo. Just damage. Joko's looking for Maxwell. Maxwell drops down. Come on, Protect comes up. Shockwave catches onto Joko. Here comes Nuketuck. Culling will be available very, very soon. Flashes for flashes. Uh, utility based. We'll see how that actually works out for him because right now he's going to need Maxwell's help. Yeah, it's a two on three. The equalizer's been used. Maxwell tried to deliver the Shockwave. That's at least a kill onto Nuketuck. Now Maxwell's being run down. Alfari is looking for the Cataclysm. He's locked Joko in. Joko can't get across the wall. Ignore. Fire the rocket punch and the grab onto Cabo Shot. Now Alfari's running for his life. Asher has come earlier. Joko has stolen seven buffs this series already. Looking to make it number eight. Blue buff secured onto Max Law. Flash is used to dodge the Ash Arrow. New Tuck is going to dash over the wall. Ignor will pick up a kill. Oh, the hook. the hook onto Cabo. He's under the tower. And Power of Evil gets another. New Tuck's culling done cleanly. Ash Arrow is available and could come from mid lane. Flash forward. It means New Tuck is forced to flash himself. Ash Arrow from Steelback. Still not fired. Still not fired. Power of Evil. On Olaf again. It's another one. Alfari's locked Joko into the pit. Shockwave picks up a double kill for Power of Evil, and my fantasy is ecstatic. Spawned as well towards the middle lane. That's Inner Tower in the top lane going through. Equalizer Chris cares down. not for your draw. He's been summoned. Cabochot flashes over the wall. He's able to burn down Ignar. Power of Evil's running for his life, but no the Winter's flash. Bite stings and Steelback shuts him down. Misfit's in too much of a hurry to try and cage. The Cataclysm is available. Who will get locked in? Rocket Grab catches Banda. Cocoon catches Banda. Power of Evil with Nash's tooth.
sinks his fangs in. One set extra attacks. We still feel... Oh, his cattle shark gets grabbed. Uh, we may not be able to answer that question. Shot away, man! Three! Fisher Fisher comes down. Oh, 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 oh. The baby cage locks in vitality. They can't escape. It's a double kill for Power of Evil. And Alfari loses his life. My word, a five-man cataclysm. Ignor fancies himself another shot. Minions are blocking the way. Oh. Where is the rocket grab? He's looking for Nuke Duck. He's fishing for Nuke oh. Oh. He gets it! <laughs> the flash into predictive hook. I have indeed. Ignor. Are you getting ready for Rift Rivals? Hold oh, on. I have oh. a team. Here I sit. Oh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Joko's Ragnaroking. He's not going to get caught by the rocket grab. Ends up being caught out. How far he's going to put the Cataclysm down into three hunts. Summer and Nuketak going toes for toes. The Shockwave. Not going to be enough as Nuketak is able to flash away from it. Nuketak will get caught out by Max Law here. Running for his life. Bitsy Spider. Max Law takes a volley to the face. He's already used Repel Cocoon. Oh, it's a back underneath the tower. Oh. The steel back sidesteps. Gets out of range. Now Ignor's in trouble. Nuketak takes another tower shot. How on earth has Vitality done this? They've won the fight. These fractured misfits throughout the entire fight. And Power of Evil, look at him. He's still so high in health, but hasn't got Autos. 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 Go, Nash's tooth. Go. Get those autos down. Oh. Oh. That was underwhelming. Don't know if I'm a believer. Right. And the Elder was the focus. Here's the rush. In the previous game, Cavalry God's going to teleport. But thanks to the Nash's tooth and Blade of the Rune King and Hunt Summer. Oh, it hits Maxwell. All right, let's see. Where is the threat? Glacial Fisher comes down. Maxwell's going to need to repel up into the air. Chain of Corruption. As long as he's got the wall up. Ash Arrow goes wide. Steelback not having the greatest accuracy. Steelback is locked in. Oh, oh, oh. The equalizer. Shockwave is dodged by a few, but not by Steelback. Cabochon has just dropped down. It's a double kill for Hans Summer. And Misfits are pouring down the mid lane. Look at the flag drag knockup flash from Alfari. Three kills and Misfits use their lead. That is going to be the game for Misfits now, securing the win, easily able to get into the fight. Vitality, they'd already backed away from Misfits, but tried to re-engage. Now Nuketuck's going to get caught out. Ignor with another fantastic play. Flash power fist into the rocket grab. Misfits with the minions are knocking over the Nexus turrets, and Ignor's Blitzcrank was a game changer. But Misfits' confidence in game three Take down Vitality for the win.